Hello, I'm back and I'm gonna do my flip on volume four. So my last video was volume three. So this one's volume four and then um, I have volume five and then I'm caught up because I'm working on volume six right now. So this one was is um, the one that I made myself where I really started to get a little bit more creative and adventurous in my inserts. Um, most of, before that, most of my inserts were just made like a regular Midori insert um, with the pages, you know, stapled or sewed in the middle. This one, I watched Gina Ahrens um, preparing for her 2017, her 2017 year, and she had done something with um, file folders. And... I watched the video and it was really cool and I kind of was like following the instructions and then at some point I got lost and and I didn't know like how she got from here to here and um, so mine kind of went off the rails um, it does not look like hers but it was a cool idea what she had done and I was I made this while I was in um, on vacation so it's after the holidays um, we have we do a timeshare and we got a room um, a condo I guess and me and my daughter and her best friend and her best friend's mom went for a girl's getaway for four days at the beach and um, I took my supplies and that's what I was gonna do because it's winter on the Oregon coast so it's not like we're gonna be sunbathing or anything and it was actually snowed on the beach. So um, I brought crafts so that I could could work and stuff. So I could, you know, play. And I also happened to get a really, really nasty cold like the day before we left. So I was watching Gina's video and trying to make this while I had tissues shoved up my nose so the snot would not drip on my supplies. So that's probably why mine came out much different than hers um, but anyway here it is I like it I think it's kind of cool and yes it was snowing at the beach when we went and it snowed we got quite a bit of snow for Portland this year which is why the front of my January looks like this with snow and this right here these are my diaper wipes um, used diaper wipes but not like poopy used diaper wipes because that's gross um, you know, as crafters with diaper wipes in the craft room or your art room, your studio, or whatever, and you use it to wipe off paint or ink or whatever. And so they end up having colors. Sometimes they just turn to mud looking and um, other times they look kind of interesting. These were, um, these were actually not very much colored, but they had a little bit of color on them. And um, I just dirtied them up some more with some ink and um, some, um, pencil, water soluble pencil, I added some glitter, um, dribbled a little bit of glossy accents on places and made clouds out of them. And then this is, um, this was a, a stamp, like a foam stamp, one of those like little kid foam stamps that's shaped like a house and I um, added this tissue paper roof and um, you know kind of turned it into our house sort of, except our house isn't red, but I couldn't remember what color our house was. I was sitting in, in my, working on my thing, and I'm like, what color is our house? I think it's brown, but, um, and all of this is just junk that's sitting on my desk. This is, these right here are, um, I was trimming a, a piece of craft cardstock, and I, I was, like, really just trying to straighten it out, and it just had these little thin, um, scraps and they kind of looked like straw and that's kind of what things start looking like out here in the winter when it's cold and you know things aren't green anymore and um, yeah so I turned it into kind of a little bushy straw grass something or another so um, more baby wipe down here for our the snow and then this is like I peeled this this silver stuff off of a tag that said Merry Christmas because it's not Christmas and I didn't need that part and this was also off the Merry Christmas tag too so anyway 
Uh, my dog is over there snoring in his sleep, so that's that noise. So here we go. This one's kind of uh, interesting, like, it's kind of hard, like, which way do you go? It's like a maze, sort of. So, um, opens up, and this was the, from the beach, and like the seashells, this stuff is from the pamphlets and stuff that they had at the resort, um, and I just cut them out and used them in my journal, and then I took some pictures. This is the snow, the ice sickles on the windshield, and these are, you know, pictures I took there. Um, this insert is made out of, whenever you go to a, the timeshare, so like we are owners of the timeshare, but of course every time you go, they want you to um, come listen to their, their sales pitch and, you know, own more timeshare. And so they put all the information, and when you go, then they give you like um, a gift card for, for cash or something. So, you know, you go listen for an hour, which always turns into two or three, but anyway, and they give you, you know, a $75 American Express gift card. And so, you know, I'm like, nah, what do, I can do that, and then we can, you know, take that money and go have fun with it. So anyway, the folder was full of the information, and I used that folder to make this. And um, I printed another um, calendar out. I kind of like that and wrote stuff on it. Um, this right here, the Vacation U, that is also from the folder. It was at the top part of the folder because I trimmed it down. More um, little embellishments made out of trash. Oh my gosh, the worst cold. Oh, I felt so horrible. Um, I was just so glad that my friend drove and I didn't have to drive because I felt like crap. And I drank so much tea and cough drops and it was just, ugh. But at least I was in a nice resort where nobody was asking me to cook dinner and do laundry and you know I just had me and my daughter and you know she's 17 so it's not like she requires a lot of um, care and feeding and stuff but, you know the girls just kind of did their own thing so I, I saved all those and stuck them in here and this this right here is from a regular file folder um, I, that I cut to add more flaps um, <laughs> mucus relief I really had a bad I was just really feeling like crud um, my friend gave me a, um, a gift um, while we were there. She had got me, she got a saw journal that she and thought of me, and so she gave that to me. And this was the wrapping paper that was on it, I think, or this was a tag that was on it, and I just journaled on the back. And then um, they actually had a store in this little town. We were in um, where were we? Glen Eden, which is. So the Oregon coast, Glen Eden is close to Depot Bay, which um, I don't know if you know where that is. But anyway, in this little town, they actually had a store that was the, a gluten-free store. It was just like a little shop, and it was all gluten-free. And also, they had a lot of stuff for other allergies, you know, like dairy-free, corn-free, just, you know, whatever. But... Um, that was pretty cool. I was super excited because I'm gonna flip over here and show you. They had gluten-free licorice. Licorice. I love licorice. Like, I I would always eat the um, the Aust black Australian licorice. Uh, I don't know if it's really Australian, but it's always called Australian licorice. So if you're Australian and you're watching this, you should tell me if you guys really have you know have cornered the market on licorice because. That would be awesome. But all the licorice has wheat in it, and I can't eat wheat, so I can't eat licorice. Um, and they had gluten-free licorice. Now, it was hard to chew. I mean, I got the little licorice whips or whatever, and that made my jaw hurt. I could only eat a tiny bit at a time because it made my jaw hurt. But it was licorice, and it tasted like licorice, and it was yummy. And so I was happy. So anyway. Um, so that so we we went to the gluten free place, which was cool, and um, I like I said I was doing a lot of this while I was there, and I, of course as much as we want to bring every craft supply that we own with us when we go on trips, that's just not possible. 
I probably did bring more craft supplies than clothes because once I got there, I was like, huh, I wonder why I thought I'd only need one pair of pants, but I had my craft supplies. I was too sick to use a lot of them though, but anyway, um, so I had to use what I had there and I had a um, pamphlets, you know, like the travel brochures and advertisements that they always have down by the front desk when you go on vacation. And um, so I cut circles out and used those. We went to the dollar store and got gloves because it was stinking cold. There was, it was snowing at the beach. So we got some gloves and I put the um, tag in there. And um, this is all like the, this background right here. This is from the travel brochure. Um, the, let's see, the page in the back here is actually a magazine page from um, um, Daphne's diary, I think. Um, so, and these, and then these are actual pictures. And this is, this was the view from our room. Let's see if it'll, I don't know. I can't see my camera while I'm filming, so I don't know what it shows, but it was pretty cool. I mean, we were right there. You could see the beach. It's this beach, so this is Glen Eden, and um, this area has a lot of agates, so when we, we could go out early and we could collect agates on the beach. Um, it was really stinking cold, which I've probably already said a hundred times, but it was cold. I'm from Texas. I'm not, you know, I've been here in the uh, Pacific Northwest for almost five years now, but um, when you lived in Corpus Christi on the Gulf Coast for you know 25 years I lived there for 25 years about um, yeah you're just not used to snow on the beach okay so another restaurant and they had gluten-free pies like that was so cool everything else in their restaurant was not gluten-free but the pie was and it was really good me I put mediocre dinner with dinner for typical diner food but the gluten-free pie was awesome it was a lemon sour cream pie it tasted like um, heaven. It tasted, it was similar in taste to a lemon meringue pie, but without the egg white stuff, it, it was really good. I need to figure out how to make that. So that was super good. Um, some more pictures. This background, this page right here, again, is this is a Daphne's Diary um, page that I cut out and used. Uh, this is, we went to this um, gym shop, and this was their their business card so I used it to make a pocket and this was also on their brochure they had a brochure that looked like a postcard and I just took that and um, cut it out to use it as a journaling card so I put that in there Some more business cards oh see this was the top of the so it was like something something along the lines of this and then their their business card Oh, it was like this. I think it was a, a whole thing like this. And I just cut it up. I like doing that. So, let's see, does this... Okay, so there's the licorice. These are the... Um, from a wine that we got there. And um, <laughs> this is the wrappers for the, the soaps. And so more journaling. And then, um, so that's that, then we've got this fold out here. So more pictures. And then this was um, just a random picture of my son who went back to Texas, but I found this in my stuff and I put it in there. And then this is a, this was something I got in the mail inviting us to come visit some hotel for the holidays that was serving like a Christmas or New Year's dinner or something. I used it and on the back I painted it and used it as a journaling thing. And this was in, this was in a, it, this is an ad. I cut this out of an ad for pins. This here is some angry journaling or some upset journaling or whatever. I wrote it all out, got it off my chest, put it in here and covered it up so that it's doesn't need to be dwelled on. Um, it happened, it's over, I got it off my chest, and it's done. I would hate for someday, you know, someone to find my journal and 
read something about themselves or something that I wrote out of frustration at the time and be hurt. So um, that's why I covered it up. More journaling. <laughs> this was just some silly doodling my daughter and I did when we were at the beach. One of the beach tides. And journaling. Journaling. These are pretty darn good too. Get these at the health food store. This is just from our rice and it, the bag of rice I buy and I thought it was cute because it's got this little girl in there. And peace lucky. And that is, that's it.